greenhouse. I've set up little table and chairs because I'm getting old and it's nice to just sit down here because it's nice and warm. The current temperature in here at the moment is 18.8, so that's really quite pleasant. And I've just been through my seed box and um, picking some more plants that I want or seeds that I want to sow in the next few days. I may actually do some today as well. So let me split them up into their little categories and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so the first one I'm going to start with is my rainbow chard. Now, this is really lovely in stir fries and, and salads. If you take the very young leaves, they're great in salads. But also the sparrows love them and what I have found is if I put them in my main beds and if I don't cover them up, the sparrows in the summer will absolutely strip the plant to, I say to ribbons and it literally is to ribbons, they'll strip it down to the stalk and then the stalk is all shredded like into fibres. So what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to sow some seeds in the greenhouse but when it comes to potting them up I'm going to put them in containers and keep them close to the back door that way the sparrows will actually leave them alone. So that's my first one. Herbs. Now I've got virtually no herbs in the garden at all now because the garden was stripped right back um, because I'd had so much disease and because the garden has been remodelled I've got all new raised beds and um, they all need planting up so I'm literally starting from scratch this year now um, I could just go to the garden centre and buy individual plants but um, like everybody else I'm trying to save the pennies I have got plenty of seed packets so I'm going to make use of them so the first one I'm going to sow is coriander and Amir if you're watching this I know this is one of your favourites I don't think my plants will be anywhere as fantastic as yours so I think you're an expert on this particular plant or herb but I'm going to have a go normally I buy the fresh little pots that you get in the supermarket by the salad bar uh, bring them home and you know yourself that you keep on the kitchen window but they don't last very long but what I tend to do is I break them up and pop them on and they're fantastic but I'm going to grow them from seed this year chives I love chives and again I could go to the garden centre and just buy one plant and put it up but I'm going to grow some seed so uh, that's my second choice Third choice are the basil. Now I've got um, a red leaf and uh, the traditional green. Um, I do like to grow basil plants in with my tomatoes. It's, it's said to enhance the flavour, but I also find they're a good indicator if you need watering um, because they can bolt quite easily. So. Um, yeah, as I say, they're quite a good indicator if you plant them at the front of your tomatoes. And obviously in cooking, they go together brilliantly. So I shall be doing some of those. So that's my herbs. Um, so greenhouse vegetables are my mixed peppers. These are great. Um, it's potluck, you don't know what you're going to get. You get a lovely selection, but you can't tell from the seed because they all look the same. So I shall sow a selection of that and I shall grow some in containers outside in the garden and I'll keep some in the greenhouse. I've got this hot cayenne pepper, so I'm going to try that. Um, all of these seed packets, I've just had a look on the back, they, they say they need between 15 and 20 degrees centigrade, that's 60, 68 Fahrenheit, to germinate. Well, it seems to be um, 18 to 20 in here most days now, and I've got fleece so I can cover them up in the evenings and if we have cold nights. So that's the pepper. And then... Oh, got this tomato this came in a magazine um, I, I'm intrigued by it. it looks lovely it's just a bit different so I might sow a couple of those um, I don't have a huge amount of room um, I generally 
grow my tomatoes in the greenhouse, I might have a few outside. So I will only sow a few seeds and I might give some to the neighbours. So, but if you've ever sown um, grown these before, Tigerella, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. Is it just the look that's interesting or do they taste good as well? Right, what next? Flowers. I did some cosmos the other day, nasturtiums, um, but I forgot the calendula. Um, I want that dotted all around the garden, so that is an absolute must for me. So that's one that I might actually do today. And finally, and I mentioned these in my last video, these are going to be sewn directly into the beds and they're radishes. These are great because you get a return within about three weeks and they're, if you've got small children, they're a fantastic plant to grow for children because they get, um, they get reward very, very quickly and you can um, do them as intercrops. So if you've got other crops, that um, are growing and you've got spaces in between you can pack them with these so yeah that's my selection for now I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to start sorting out my seed trays ready to sow the garden center and um, I have bought myself some tomato plants and some chili peppers the reason I do that rather than sow my own is I have got very limited space um, I have room in the greenhouse generally for three possibly four plants and I like different varieties so um, rather than try and sow one seed per variety or several and then um, end up wasting them. I prefer just to buy the plants from the um, garden centre. They're always successful so um, and I can pick and choose which plant that I want. So um, I've bought Sun Gold which is a cherry tomato very similar to gardener's delight but they're yellow rather than the red i've also bought some gardener's delight and then for the medium sized tomato i've bought shirley for my chili peppers i've picked up an apache which is one of my favorites and then the scotch bonnet i don't grow it every year because it is particularly hot um, so it's not one that i use in every meal um, but they do keep well, they freeze well and they dry well, so um, rather than have a huge glut, um, I usually only grow them every few years. But they were so successful last year and such a pretty um, addition to the greenhouse that I just decided to grow them again this year. So I'm going to pot them on into 15 inch pots. Now these are vigorous growers, particularly as seedlings. So um, for them to be really strong, we need to pop them on because the roots are starting to come through at the bottom. So I have got 15 centimeter pots, so that will give them a few weeks to um, let their roots develop further and become stronger plants before they end up in their final um, planting space. So I'm gonna fill this with the multi compost and then make a well with the pot so that looks like that and then if I take this plant out of here you can see the roots that just sits in there nicely now
Good morning. It's not quite seven o'clock. Paddy and I just got up and I've just fed the birds. And then I thought I'd pop in the greenhouse. I only sowed these four days ago. This is the cosmos. That is very exciting. And the fig has got a few new buds. Let me show you. These have um, erupted since this morning. There was a few poking through which I've already filmed. Seven hours on, that's how much they've grown. 